I'm going to show you some decorations that I'm going to put on a cake. You can say to me, how did you lose your tripod? And I will definitely say back, I don't know. I'm using these cup links. I really have no idea what they're called. They're to hold the tip into the bag. I got wax covered parchment paper so they're not staying in well so I thought the cup couplers would help. Swimming pool crumb coat is complete. I actually got it to go on there. Petal for like roses and then I'm going to just do a leaf. And I'm just going to have uh, pink and green frosting. I just want some flowers on it to make it pretty. I just dipped the tip of this butter knife into my green food coloring paste. It's actually made for frosting. Put two clean toothpicks, one into the red, one into the pink. I couldn't resist. I put this little uh, lavender type flower tip as well because I couldn't get all the frosting to fit into tubes. I try to figure out a way to put my... I found my tripod right this second! Oh my goodness, I forgot I left it there, so I didn't lose it. I just misplaced it. I'm gonna go get it. Ta-da! So, the star tip gives us stars or flowers. The more you do, the better you get. I am not a professional. I just love this because it's fun. A leaf tip. So, you can just put leaves anywhere. The best way to get a leaf to end is go really close to where you want it and pull just a little slow and then pull off. The best. And it makes a tip like that. To make a rose, swirl your project. I have it on a rack. Where's the tenter? Can you see that? Let me zoom you in. And I'll try not to twirl it anymore. I'll stand up for this part. Whatever side you feel comfortable, point it at an angle, I don't know, maybe a 45 degree, and squeeze, lift, and dip. Don't worry. Then you go right where you ended and do that angle again, but kind of push that in. And squeeze, lift, and dip. Dip. Continue to turn your work. Right, I'm going to start with that one ended. Squeeze, lift, and dip. You just put as many petals on as you really think it's going to be beautiful or however you want. One more here. Oh, <laughs> Sorry about the bump. Okay, I think that's perfect. See? It's very pretty. And then I can just go, see how this has a gap right here? Then you go back with your leaf tip and squeeze just a little bit in that base to lift it and then pull out. Pretty, right? And then if you're worried about it looking like a mess at the base, you can put some of your little purple star flowers in there. A little color, a little beauty. I need the scissors my nail. I turned the viewfinder. Now I can see what you can see. And I'm just going to put a little bit of frosting in the middle of my nail. My tip has got a little, no, there's your camera. My tip has got a little frosting on it. So I just use a dampened paper towel to clean the tip. Sometimes a dry one works fine too. All right. 
because you want the tip to stay nice so you get crisp crispness I don't know I'm not making any sense I'm sure there's some really good schools that can teach you how to do this but you gotta pay money so <laughs> thank you very much mom anyway so um, yeah I have my little base this is um, buttercream frosting thank you all right so I'm going to twirl the nail okay see how I have that it's like a looped petal it's the center of a rose then come from where that rose ended you can start anywhere oh you know what I was learning that you're supposed to do the rose petal with the big end up and I always thought it was the other way but my roses always look frayed on the edges see how my petal looks frayed at the top top of the petal there so I'm going to turn my tip so that the wide part of the tip is on the top and try making a petal like that because that's the proper way they teach you in flowering school yeah there see my mom just let me free reign at anything I wanted to do when I was a kid. Basically, I was pretty, pretty, I just do what I want. <laughs> okay, see how I came way out? I'm just going to push into it and then make the next one. And then, how about another one? And I'm going out a little bit further on the nail each time. Oh goodness. And it's getting warm. So it's starting to slide off. <laughs> Which is not always a good thing. Okay, and I'm going to take my scissors. These are my decorating scissors. I'm going to hold them with a point almost closed. So I can scoop that up. So this rose is about this wide, so I want to get in there and scoop it and close my scissors just a bit. Okay, not yet. Oh, I messed it up. That's okay. That's okay. Dip into the cake and pull out. Oh, what a mess. What a mess. The frosting is way too soft for this. <laughs> Um, here, let's put these here. Okay. So, yeah. Way too soft. You can let your soft, excuse me, you can let your frosting get a li little colder by throwing it in the fridge for five minutes if you want, or however long you want. Decorating on the cake is much faster. Alright. I made a mess. Oh goodness. That's okay. We're just gonna eat this. This is this is just a an unbirthday cake. Basically, it's not for anyone in particular. I just wanted to have cake and filling. Because <laughs> my birthday passed. Oh goodness. Okay, so let's see. You can see a little bit of the crumbs from the cake here. I'm gonna put some purple flowers on there. All your leaves don't have to be the same color. You can put yellow leaves, brown leaves. Shoot, you can even make black leaves on your cake if you want. This is your cake. This cake is not for anybody. Well, this is this is my cake. And, and I'm gonna eat it. Okay, so let's see what else we can do. If we do essence. Mom used to put S's on almost all her cake borders. She was good at it though. 
But her first name started with an S. Her name was Sybil. And you can do all kinds of stuff. Zigzag, swirls, more flowers. I'm not an instructor, but I do play one on YouTube. Goodness, I'm gonna make a big pile so maybe I can get it off this time. My mom could make 50 roses for every rose I could make. Of course, I was littler then, but. And she went to school for this. She was amazing. Ooh, a big floppy rose. I'm never going to be able to pick this up. If you chill this in the refrigerator, if you take these little papers and you cut little squares and you put them on your tip with the little dollop of uh, frosting to hold them, they are so easy once you chill them in the fridge. They're so easy to pick up and put them where you want them. Let me get the other side of the nail to press back against it. Can you do the case? off of the cake. Oh, I hope you saw that. <laughs> that worked pretty well. I love cake decorating. The best part is you don't you don't have to worry about what it looks like in five minutes. People will be eating it. <laughs> With a little bit of um, imagination, we can just imagine that that's a ribbon at the base of the cake, and the silly little leaves around the edges, all the way around and around and around. Hey, if you keep going like this, oh goodness, that one only has one. We have to eat that one first, I guess. Shake like a leaf. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, some of the flowers are just little flowers. And then that big green heart. Isn't it awesome? Oh, look, it, it had green frosting on the, on the flower tip. It's the piece that only got one leaf. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Oh, that's nice. Are you ready for first bite? Ready? How is it? It smells like heaven. Mm. <laughs> mm. Decorating is fun, but eating kids is always better. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.